Hello people, continuing our discussion on the very classification of functions, we had discussed that any function you pick up of your choice can be classified in one of these categories definitely. Either the function that you pick up from the set A to another set B will be a one to one function Another name for a one to one function is that it is also called to be an injective function. And we discussed in detail what was the meaning or when was a function qualified to be called a one one function. It has to perform in a certain behavior. When distinct members of the first set which is set A get mapped to distinct members of the set B under the map F, then I call this F to be a 1 1 function. If the function is not 1 1 means that it is a many 1 function. As the name suggests, many one is the opposite of one one in one one distinct member went to distinct members over here many members are going to go to the same one member and that is why functions which are many one are definitely not one one and functions which are one one are definitely not many one important point of observation here is that any function you pick up will be either one one or many one it has to be one of these two talking about the other two categories i told you that the third classification was the classification of on two functions now these on two functions again just like the one one function have another name to them which is Surjective functions. Either you say onto or you say surjective, it means the same thing. What was the meaning of an onto function? Well, just like in one one and many one, we dealt with the conditions on the domain members, which is members of set A, and we said that the way members of set A are getting related or mapped to the members of set B is going to decide whether the function is one one or many one. Similarly, the other two categories, the third and the fourth, basically make the members of set B their point of discussion. They say, if I talk about onto function right now, every member of set B should be the image of at least one member of set A. By which I mean that none of the members of set B should sit as having no pre-images. Every member of set B should have at least one pre-image sitting in set A. By which I told you we meant that the range set should be equal to the entire codomain and that is what is the function known as the onto function. We discussed again in detail about the onto functions known as the surjective functions. The last category over here in this classification speaks about another behavior of the members sitting in the set B which is members of the codomain. Based on that behavior, I classify them and call them as into functions. I will be discussing in detail about the fourth category of functions in this lecture because we have already completed our discussion on the first three types of functions. Now what are into functions? Well just like any function is either one one or many one in the same way every function is either on to or into. A one one function can never be many one. 
A many one function can never be one one. Similarly, let's continue this discussion with the third and the fourth point. You get the answer as an onto function can never be in two, an into function can never be on two. That means out of one one and many one, each function is going to possess exactly one quality. Out of onto and into, again each function is going to possess exactly one quality. What do I mean by this? Well, the first and the second quality basically are dependent on the behavior of the domain members. And the third and the fourth quality is dependent on the behavior of the co-domain members. That means every function because it has a domain and a co-domain will have the two qualities attached to it. One quality will be either it will be one one or many one depending on the behavior of how the members of set A are behaving. And another quality which the same function is going to possess is either it will be on to or it will be into depending upon the behavior of the co-domain members which is the members of set B. Before discussing further into these type of behaviors possessed by any function, let's discuss in detail the fourth category, the fourth classification, which is into functions. Let me write just to begin a very simple statement in the description of into functions and we are going to perceive that statement and extend our discussion of into functions and then come up to the mathematical meaning of into functions. I am starting with let f from the set A to the set B be any function. Here f is some function, okay fine, this is an arbitrary function given to me, then this f is called an into function if and only if f is not an onto function. This is the simple statement that I have written. For f to be declared as an into function, it should not be an onto function. The moment it is not an onto function, I am in a position to declare my f to be an into function. But this is like a topsy-turvy definition. Prove f to be non onto, then declare it to be into. What is the actual meaning of f being not onto? By onto, I told you the meaning of onto functions is basically dependent on the behavior of the members of the co domain. That is what is the basic characteristic of onto and into. The definitions of both of these are dependent or basically made depending on the behavior of the members of the co domain. Onto function said that every member of the co-domain is the image of at least one member of the domain. For a function to be non-onto, I am basically finding or searching that member of the co-domain which is making my f non-onto. What do I mean by this? If onto says that every member of the co-domain should be the image of at least one member of the domain, by non-onto I mean there exists one member in the co-domain, at least one member exists in the co-domain which is not the image of any member of the domain. If this case happens, I declare my function to be non-onto and then I declare my function to be into. That is, what do I mean by function being non-onto? It means there exists at least one member, say small y, sitting in the core domain, which is B in this case, such that there does not exist any member in the domain 
which is the pre image of this y and i say x is a pre image of y if and only if y is the image of x so if i am stressing on saying that there exists at least one member y inside b such that there is no pre image of y that means i am saying y is not the image of any member of set a that means pick up any x there is actually no x possible such that y is the image of x under f this is not possible for any x you pick up from a pick up any x from a for none of the x's when this f is going to act upon them are you going to obtain a y no that means this y is left in the codomain having no pre image i can also say that is if i portray in english language there exist at least one member in the codomain of f which has no pre image in the domain of f or again as i said y having a pre image x means y is the image of x so if y has no pre image in set a that means y is not the image of any member in set a so saying that there exists at least one member in the codomain which has no pre image in the domain means that there exist at least one member in the codomain which is not the image of any member of the domain why don't we try and visualize what is going on in the category of into functions the entire stress is to portray the function to be a non onto function that means to portray a function in which one at least one member of the codomain is present without any pre image let's just visualize this with the help of this diagram suppose i take one of it as my set a and the other other as set b and f be any function from a to b how in the world can i portray f such that it is visualized as an into function first of all it has to be a function which means each member of the first set should have at least one image not at least actually exactly one image in the second set that is what is the meaning of function right that each each member of the first set has a unique image in the second set not just this for a function to be an into function i want at least one member in set b with no pre image that means i want none of my members of set a to map to that particular element this is the behavior which i need to portray in this venn diagram approach of visualizing functions well let's start with it suppose these are my three members of set a and these are my three members of set b suppose i make a mapping like this this and this what did i do well is this particular arrow diagram depicting a function firstly for that we have to verify each member of set a has a unique image in set b 
talking about this first element, it has only one image in set B, which is this. Talking about the next element of set A, it has only one image in set B, which is this. Talking about the third element of set A, it has only one image in set B, which is this. So yes, this f is definitely a function, no doubt about that. Is this an onto function? Well, for an onto function, each member of set B should have at least one pre-image in set A. This member of set B has exactly one pre-image in set A, which is this. This member of set B has two pre-images in set A, which is this and this. But this member of set B has no pre-image in set A, which means this element of set B, suppose I call it my small y, is not the image of any member of set A. There is no member of set A which is getting mapped under f to this element y and that is why my function is not onto or I can say that it is an into function because a function is into if and only if it is not onto. Clearly my f is not onto and therefore f is an into function. What else is f? Well, I told you if I begin from where I begin my lecture, basically I said each function will possess one of these two based on the behavior of the domain members and the same function is going to possess one of these two based on the behavior of the codomain members. Based on the behavior of the codomain members of our function, we declared it to be an into function because it was not an onto function. So fine, out of the third and the fourth, my function possesses the fourth quality. But it should also possess one among the first and the second quality. Is it one one or many one along with it being into? Well, that is going to be decided on the basis of the behavior of the domain members. If each member of the domain, or I should say, distinct members of the domain get mapped to distinct members of the codomain, I will declare my function to be 1, 1, and that is not the case over here. Because these